They're not just grooming your children in their sexual and gender ideology. They're also using CRT to turn them into good little communists. This is Chris with Protect Your Children Incorporated. ProtectYourChildren.org is the website. This lady is on fire. This mom is mad. She is pissed and she has every right to be. She was stood up against this school board and told them exactly what she needed to and what they needed to hear. And they better listen because you're teaching third graders, seven, eight years old, about a woman's clitoris, okay, and asking them to point out on a board where the clitoris is. This is absolutely sexual grooming. It should not be acceptable. It borders on child abuse and something needs to get done. Let's listen to her as she goes off on this school board. And I'm here just to play off of what um, Mr. Smith just said. Um, I know you have a, pos a policy of harassment, intimidation, and bullying, which if any student acted the way you just did, they would have a HIB violation. It's just totally outrageous. You should hold yourself to the same standard that you expect these children to be held to. Um, it's better if you would just listen to people. You know, everyone wants to hear what people have to say, except for maybe you. I, um, this curriculum that they're implementing, I, I, watch, I read a, um, one of the uh, lesson plans. This is a lesson plan. As I'm reading the lesson plan, to my sister on the phone. Here we go, here's the board. There's a penis, there's a man, and there's a woman. These are third graders. The lesson plan says, hey, Jamal, go up to the board and point to the penis. Hey, um, Annie, can you go over and point to the vagina? Can you point to the clitoris? This is third grade level of what you want. I'm telling my sister on the phone and my 18-year-old daughter is like, you are disgusting. What are you talking about? And I want to tell you, if that curriculum was talked about in my workplace, people would be filing her, uh, sexual harassment charges on the person having that conversation. This is grooming. What you're doing is trying to get children comfortable about talking about body parts in front of adults. This is grooming. This needs to stop. You do not get to take away parental rights. That's a given. Number one, no one takes away the parental right. Your job is to teach education, and that's it. And the appropriate level for a third grade sex should be, hi, you guys have private body parts. If anyone touches your body part, you should tell somebody. You should never feel uncomfortable. This is the level that you should be talking about sex. So children feel safe. Not so you can groom them. That is disgusting. I wouldn't even stand up to a board in whatever grade. And what is the purpose of this? Honestly, what is the purpose of this? Yes, I'm almost done my couple minutes here, and I know you're busy looking at your phone, but I would say it is best for all of you to take note because you are not going to have these positions much longer because everyone here is going to step up, and they're going to run against you, and they're going to stick up for parental rights. You know you're in a cult if 1. You believe you are what your imagination says you are. Delusional, characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary, typically as a symptom of a mental condition. You know you're in a cult if 6. You believe reality isn't real. Delusional, characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary, typically as a symptom of a mental condition. You know you're in a cult if 10. Thanks to Jamie Lee Curtis who didn't know how many Oscars she'd won, they, them can't count. You know you're in a cult if 11. You will cry in protest to take a real black woman off a syrup bottle and a Quaker off a box of oats named Quaker Oats, only to put a fake white woman on a beer can. All while saying, I can't believe they're so upset over a beer can. Bud Light parent Anheuser-Busch's stock has lost $27 billion over Dylan Mulvaney.
you know you're in a cult if. 13. If you get triggered because someone doesn't think you're special because you were born into one of the CRT approved victim groups, they believe deeds and personal responsibility warrant pride. You know you're in a cult if. 18. Lost your shit over to kill a mockingbird and huckleberry finn but are screaming about banning books with gay sex and masturbation in school libraries. You know you're in a cult if. 20. Will lie even with irrefutable evidence. You know you're in a cult if. 21. Being so filled with hate, you will groom, mutilate, and murder your own children, all while calling your opposition fascists. You know you're in a cult if. 22. Believes that out of 7 billion people on the planet, white, straight, males are somehow oppressing everyone else. You know you're in a cult if. 23. Will lose your shit when someone points out that you're not oppressed, you're just stupid. You know you're in a cult if. 25. Will refer to a biology book as right-wing propaganda. You know you're in a cult if. 26. Will lose your shit if someone actually uses proper English instead of your made-up pronouns. You know you're in a cult if. 32. Are the same people who say you can't indoctrinate kids to be gay with a book or a drag show, but continually accuse the church of doing that very thing. Although religion isn't taught in schools, and you're not forced to go to church. You know you're in a cult if. 33. When someone is simply talking science and common sense, you will try to bring religion into it. Well, you know the church. Well then, don't go to church. It's not against the law. Not going to school is. You know you're in a cult if. 34. Will use unrelated behavior to justify their sick, grooming behavior. You know you're in a cult if. 39. Will lose your shit when someone says you're in a woke cult, and to prove you're not, you do the things on this list over and over and over. You know you're in a cult if. 40. Will accuse your opposition of that which you are guilty. You know you're in a cult if. 46. Consider chemically castrating a pedophile horrible and inhumane, but chemically castrating a child just dandy.